Lesson observation for any teacher is a nervous time. Nobody likes to be watched and judged. You have sometimes classes of 33, 34 students and you have to manage and you don't always have that time to reflect on things. If you've got a senior member of staff in the room, they are influencing the behaviour of the students but also the behaviour of the staff and that can lead to often a, a false outcome. But again, it's a snapshot and it was very judgmental. But how much does that snapshot view of what that learning is within a 50 minute to an hour lesson actually tell you about the overall totality of that teaching? I think there were definitely times where I would have wanted to feel, have felt more involved in what was going on. In such significant challenges at the moment nationally with specific budget pressures, one of the key things I often seen is the reduction in investment in staff training. In actual fact, it's the opposite. Never has been there been a more important time to invest in staff training and staff, and staff CPL. I'm attracted to the Lesson View product by the simplicity of it, um, but also by the, how robust and well thought out it is. If you dig into the technology behind it, uh, many of the potential issues such as internet speeds and connections and ease of use for teachers have been well thought through. My main concern was um, uh, where, where that data was going, whether it was going over the network to people that we didn't know anything about, or uh, whether it was going to stay in the school. The initial barrier was around trust, and whether teachers could trust that the opportunity to video their lessons would be used for their own professional development as opposed to wider scrutiny. And there was fear that videos would be used um, without their knowledge or consent um, to judge their, their, their teaching. I think the initial apprehension comes from addressing your own vulnerabilities, perhaps, within the classroom. Um, as a young teacher, I mean young to the, you know, new to the profession, you're always worried about that judgment factor. So when I was initially asked about being part of the programme, I thought it's just another way of tracking and another way of keeping an eye, making sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. I feel like I have a really good reputation in the school. So I was able to see past it and just think, OK, they wouldn't have asked me to do it if they didn't think I was at least capable of doing it well or using it effectively. My first impressions when I saw the video, um, I was amazed. Don't be afraid of it. Nobody else sees it apart from you, or, or unless you want them to. I can choose to select when I see a piece of film and what piece of film I wish to see. But actually seeing it was really impressive and being able to zoom in on certain students and to see what they were or weren't doing was very interesting. But it's very unobtrusive. You completely forget it's there. Within a day, you won't, you won't even know it's there. It's all about self-reflection, looking at your own teaching and thinking about how you can adapt, how you can change, but also looking at what you already do really well, recognising your own strengths and then thinking, what are your next steps? What can you do now to be an even better teacher? And the benefit is you see yourself as you really are, not when you're performing for someone else, but as you really are when nobody is there watching you. And obviously that is what the children see all the time. And to me that's the critical thing, is how am I coming across to them? It gives you the freedom to self-evaluate without the constraints of feeling like you're being judged. Um, and it is brutally honest. And sometimes that's what you need. It's Lesson View's capacity to dissect a lesson, to zoom in on individual students, on episodes of a lesson that are of interest, whether they be because they didn't go well or because I felt they did go well, is second to none. It's had a massive impact on progress already. I feel now the techniques that I use are far more informative to me and sometimes have been a bit of a shock when I've thought, oh, that went well. They all got that because so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so answered. Though Therefore, we've got a widespread of understanding here and we haven't. Um, and I'd have missed that. There is such a climate of scrutiny, but sometimes watching myself, I go, oh, look at that child, and he hasn't done anything like in the last three months, and now look at him. <laughs> and it's like, yes. I've now used it with year nine, and I've just marked their essays today, and on average, so the same question to year 10 as year nine, I've used it with year nine, not with year 10, 
and they're about 30% higher grades. This is encouraging me to take a few more risks and to develop my teaching in ways that I hadn't considered. Um, it's encouraging me to have conversations with people outside of my department as well and to really explore those different techniques which might work brilliantly in a lesson which I would never have expected them to work well in. For example, having conversations with an MFL teacher or a maths teacher. Lesson View has, it has helped me find my teaching passion again, which I've been on my own journey over the last two years of deciding do I really want to stay and do this. Um, becoming head of department was the next challenge in a leadership scale, but Lesson View has really helped me embrace more of a challenge in the classroom, but in a fun way.